Hello Internet, welcome to Blackburn Rovers Caesar show that reviews, previews and summarises each and every Blackburn. Uh, I am based abroad, so catching a live one is a bit of a rarity. Seven games left, and guess what? Disaster strikes. Mowbray suffers his first defeat. We'll talk about that and more on today's show. Here comes the reviews! That's right, folks, back once again, and uh, it's been two weeks now since since Rovers uh, took to the field, um, and we were on a bit of a roll. We were seven games unbeaten, I think, and uh, and things were looking rosy. But guess what? Football is a funny old game, and Rovers now is looking dodgy. We are still in the bottom zone, bottom three, after uh, this weekend's defeat to promotion chase in Brighton. It looked like we had the better of them for the... For most of the match, you know, giving them uh, their own medicine. Uh, to be fair, we dominated the match. I think we overall had uh, the, the majority of possession. But it was a Glenn Murray strike. Um, 67 minutes into the game. And whatever Rovers could throw at them, they could not get an equaliser. To make matters worse, the results elsewhere didn't really go Rovers' way. Uh, you know, Burton picked up a last-minute winner. Against also uh, uh, play or, or promotion chase in Huddersfield. They won that, I think, as the sixth minute of overtime. And that has now given them a little bit of a cushion uh, ahead of Rovers. Um, but Blackburn still, you know, there are two teams in the mix, Forest and Bristol. And we play, do play them both in these final seven games. So it's it's going to be interesting. And I think once we get our next game out of the way, maybe we can have a clearer indication of what's going to go, what's going to go down. Uh, we'll have a look at uh, the Forest and Bristol City run-ins in just a second. Um, but yes, a bit of a disappointment for Rovers. Uh, recap the side. Steele, Nayimbi, Lenehan, Mulgrew, Williams, Conway, Lowe, Gafkas, Jow, and Emnez up front. Damn, I didn't even think he made the bench. Nope. Uh, so we are missing that crucial man up front to stick the ball in the back of the net. Yes, Lucas Jow has been doing the business uh, before the international break. But maybe it's time to bring back the uh, the old veteran, and maybe he can. Uh, well, he's not that old, to be honest. Thirty one years old. Uh, but maybe it's it's we need that 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 extra uh, bit of um, experience up front to uh, maybe get those goals that we need. You know, they're up there for a reason. They are second spot, uh, only just behind Newcastle, uh, one point. So it looks like they're going to get promoted. Uh, there is now, uh, I think, the lead they have over Huddersfield is, is too much to uh, to get back. But anyway, I don't want to talk about them. I want to talk about us. Uh, bottom three, yes, Bristol City. They did get beat by Brentford, so that was a good, uh, that was a fortunate, fortuitous result for us. And again, Preston being stubborn as they are, taking two points off of Forest. I think Forest had the lead in that game, and Brighton, uh, uh, Preston did get the equaliser, and McGreedy once again. Um, with their equaliser so um, glad for that I'm glad that there was only a point for Forest instead of three because they would have been probably uh, you know there are two points ahead of us right now they could have been another you know they could have been with Burton um, and I feel I feel uh, it's going to come down between uh, us and Bristol City at the, at the end of the day which will make the game against Bristol City a crucial uh, uh, result uh, either way if we win it I think we might just have the edge to get out of it. But if we lose, then I feel that we could be uh, doomed and gloomed. But I'm hoping before that game we can maybe turn the tide a little bit and get ourselves out of this bottom three. I don't know if that's going to happen. But uh, we will, we will, um, you know, we'll have to just wait and see. It goes to previews! Anyway, moving forward, we're taking on a time out again on the road. So two back-to-backs uh, for Rovers. And uh, Reading are, again, they are doing the business at the top end. It's not going to make, it does not make things easy for us right now. Uh, and they just pulled off another stonking victory on the weekend against, again, fellow promotion chasers, uh, Leeds United. So Reading in good form, good spirits, good mood. Can we get them on a bad day like we have done with Newcastle? Maybe we can scrape a victory. But let's have a little look back at their results. Past four results for uh, Reading. Yes, they picked up a victory against Leeds. Uh, they did be they did pick a victory up against Sheffield Wednesday. So that's two strong victories for them. But they also suffered a sloppy defeat against Preston three 0 and also they uh, held were held one zero uh, zero by leaders Newcastle. For that game, I think a few changes need to be made. I think Tommy Hoban, I know his head might not be 
uh, uh, in the right frame of mind. But I think he needs to start uh, uh, with Lenahan and maybe push Mulgrew up into the middle of the park um, for his wisdom and experience in there. But anyway, here's my lineup. Uh, Steele, Naimbi, Lenahan in midfield. Danny Gray and Marvin Emnes up front. Yes, it's a little controversial with the fact Lucas Chow doesn't start. Yes, also I've not... Uh, I've gone uh, for uh, Conway and Feeney ahead of Mahoney and Bennett. I think the Mahoney and Bennett will be good off the bench, as would Lucas Zhao, as um, you know they've all offered different uh, attributes that can change the game. Sam Gallagher also off the off the bench. I think Emnes and Graham linked up nicely with a lot of players this season with with uh, Gallagher, with uh, Lucas Zhao, and also Graham. So he's key to to all that. But and that's this is another thing with Emnes. You know, he can be unplayable on, on certain days and other days he just has rotten, you know, people suss him out and he, and he, he he's, uh, they get the better of him. So, you know, but I've decided to stick with him and Graham up front just because I, uh, I feel that Emnes can be a trouble in the middle and then Graham could be there to hopefully stick the ball in the back of the net. Like he did, like they did at United when they took on United in the cup. Anyway, uh, let's have a quick look now at uh, Forest and Bristol City. They are also playing midweek action. Uh, like I said, Bristol City on the back of a defeat um, against Brentford. So they won't be best pleased. They take on uh, form team Preston. Hopefully they can do us a favour and, 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 uh, and, and stop them from picking up points. Over with Forest uh, midweek action. Uh, like I said, they were held by Preston, but this 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 week they take on one of our old Lambert and his and, and Ben Marshall at, over at Wolves. So that's a tough game. Wolves have now turned the corner, and I think they're looking decent. Um, so I'm hoping that they can do us a favour and again get one over of Forest. Forest with a new manager, Paul Warburton in charge, uh, yet to gel. Um, I think they drew against Derby, and I think they drew against um, Preston. So. Um, Big, big um, games this week. Uh, moving forward, Forest will then take on Huddersfield. And they will, they will want to try and get back to winning ways. And Bristol City will take on uh, Paul Lambert's men, Wolves. As for us, we will be taking on Barnsley. That's just a little sneak peek further ahead. But let's get back to the game against um, uh, Reading. And let's have a look at what Cast the Cat has to think about that one. Cast the cat. That's right, folks. Cast the cat back once again. I think last time out, she predicted correctly Brighton Hove Albion. What does she think will happen this time out against Reading? There you have it, folks. Shock, stunned, in disbelief. That's me. Uh, she's gone for Reading, and I wouldn't blame her right now because uh, Reading are on fire. We have yet to get go- uh, yet to get going. I'm hoping she's going to start predicting Rovers' way in the next few games because we need every bit of luck on our side just to get us out of this drop zone. It is looking doom and gloom. I am still back in Mowbray. There's no point in being against him. Who else is going to come in? What what other magic wands can they throw at him? Yes, he's tasted defeat for the first time. Maybe, just maybe, he'll uh, pull this sucker out of the bag and keep us up. And then he'll be cherished as a hero for saving us from the drop. Uh, But anyway... But that wraps up this week's episode of Blackburn Rover C. So stick around, thumbs up, subscribe, and all that kind of good stuff. A lot of content coming your way over the next few weeks. Confederations Cup over the summer. Check out those team predictions. Uh, all in good fun. Yes, England won't be taken apart, but some of the big nations are in there. In fact, all the holders are in there. You know, Chile, Germany, Portugal. Uh, who else is in the Cameroon? Australia, Dingoes, and all that lot. They'll all be taking part this summer. A lot of good fun. Um, and Cass is predicting some of those bad boys as well. Anyway, come on, Rovers, up to see what we can do. Until next time, ciao for now. Thanks for watching. Please stick around and subscribe. Feel free to check out some of my other work.